Hey guys, how's it going? It's Pete and I am finally done for the day. Woohoo! What a nice day it was. I am so happy with uh, that finger joint jig I made. It came out really good. I tweaked it a bit since uh, since the last video, so it's a little simpler, so uh, I'm happy. Anyway, what I got going on is dinner and a movie. Yeah, and I'm watching uh, Cliffhanger. <laughs> it's a classic. I love that movie. So what I'm going to do is make, a, just as quick as I can, a burger, and uh, I'll show you guys what I'm going to do. For uh, gourmet style burgers, sometimes I like to use some stinky cheeses, because I really like stinky cheeses. The stinkier, the better. <laughs> I like them when they smell like feet. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to add to that uh, burger meat some onion. And what I do when I'm in a rush is I just throw a couple of cuts that way, and then I throw a couple of cuts this way. And then just bear down on it and just keep it on the knife and toss it in the bowl. And those are nice little pieces that are going to sweeten up the burger meat. Alright, so a little bit more, not too much. I'm just going to do two big burgers. His and hers. <laughs> And then I'm going to add some fresh herbs. I've got some parsley here. It looks real nice and green. And a lot of times what I do with parsley is um, just get the bigger parts of the stem off and I leave the rest because I don't mind that. I like a, a little bit of crunchiness. So I grab that bunch, give it a, give it a little run through, and I'm not going to do it too fine. Just, just like that. I like herbs especially when they're fresh. It makes such a difference. I'm going to go ahead and measure out my salt ahead of time. Probably about that much will do. And then uh, <clears throat> I figure for tonight, two big burgers, that ought to do it. Actually, a little, well, I'll squeeze that sucker and then enough to close it off like that. There we go. And then... So that's pretty much it. And what I'm going to do in ahead of time is I got this really nice gorgonzola cheese on sale, and I love this stuff. So I'm going to make a hockey puck out of it, about that much. So just in my hand, I'm going to make a ball, squish it down, and there's a hockey puck. So I'll take the meat, give it a good swirl. And I'm the only one who likes stinky cheeses around here, so I'm just going to do one of these burgers with the stinky hockey puck. <laughs> so, let's see. That's a pretty darn good looking burger size there. So I'll take half, squish it flat, put the hockey puck in the middle, do the same thing to this one, and there you go. That's it. And that's going to get all nice and melted inside the burger. So as it cooks, it's going to flavor this meat with that nice, juicy, cheesy, stinky flavor. <laughs> so that's it. Two burgers. Lots of rough cut herbs in there and some onion and salt. And that's pretty much all you need. So what I'm going to do is take you along for my favorite sound in the world. <laughs> which is meat sizzling on the grill. And I'll show you my revision real quick too of the, uh, this is how I kind of cleaned up the, <clears throat> that uh, finger joiner. Nice and simple, I love it. And I move this magnifying glass over and boy, that works well. All right, so let's get this meat on the grill. And the good part of the movie's coming up too, so I gotta hurry up. I'm already at four minutes too, woo. And it was actually warm enough today that I could go for a bike ride in short sleeve shirt, which was nice. All right, here we go. It's nice and dark out almost. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Get ready for this. Ho, 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 ho. And I'll just use the burger to pick up those last spices. There's the big fat one right there. Ho, ho. All right, well, I'm off to a very fun evening of food and movies and another drink or two and I'm a happy camper. <laughs> Alright guys, take care. Hope you're well. Bye.